Hello everybody, it's the Black Car Guru back with another video, just a little touch up video about these G-Bodies. Now, when it comes to these G-Bodies, these things are the perfect slate to pretty much build whatever the hell you want to build. But let's say you're trying to LS swap it in, you want to know what direction to go. I got you. Now, if you already have these clamshell uh, small block Chevy mounts, you're good. If you don't have them, go and get these Hooker Blackheart clamshell motor mounts. All right, now these brackets will fit on those clamshell motor mounts, whether they're your stock clamshells or your the the Hooker Blackheart clamshells I just showed you. Yeah, these are the these are the brackets you need to put that LS inside of that beautiful piece of art you're trying to build. If you have an electronic transmission like a a 4L60E, a 4L80, and you know things of that nature. You need a Terminator X Max because it has transmission control. It controls your engine and transmission. However, with the Terminator X, if you have like a 700 R4 or a TH400 or a TH350 or things of that nature, one of them old school transmissions, uh, hell, even a Power Glide, you're going to get the Terminator X. Okay, here's a cross member kit for all those 6L90s and 6L80Es and things of that nature because I don't think Holly has a, a swap kit for a G body for an, uh, a 6L90. So, what you're going to want to do is go to LSX uh, everything and they got exactly what you need. Let's say you got a 4L60E, a 4L65, a 4L60, you know, all this, these electronic transmissions. Then here is the uh, level one LS swap kit. Now, the thing about this is you get everything you need in bulk. You don't have to go over all over the web to find your shit. Yeah, Holly does sell a majority of all the things that you need for your swap. Radiator and fan kit. Now, a lot of guys run high mount, you know, accessory dry systems um some guys run low mount some guys run mid mount it all depends on what it is you prefer you know but from what i've seen a lot of guys run the high mount the high mount of um, accessory dry system and yeah so it's a lot of things you got to do like you really need to beef up this suspension because this thing will change from first to second and get real squirrely i'm telling you you need to definitely work on the suspension on these things like go get a qa1 coil over conversion kit it's like a must because trust me, Jeep body shuffle is a scary thing if you don't know what the fuck you are doing. Get a quick performance forward nine inch rear end because the last thing you want to do is build everything else and throw your damn um throw your whole rear end out of whack. So forward nine inch with three seven three gears, or you can do like three oh nine gears, but some guys go do four ten and say fuck it. But again, preference.